Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to show you a way of increasing your workflow for creating materials on landscapes. Now, if you can, hit the like button, it helps me out, and also consider subscribing to the channel to see more tutorials like this and other videos, such as uh, Blend Out on Reviews, which I do every week as well. Let's jump into Blender. So now I'm just going to create a landmass using the landmass add-on for Blender. Um, if you want to know how to use that, there's a link in the description on how to use the add-on, how to enable the add-on. So let's start off, delete the default cube, shift A, mesh, let's add in a landscape. Come down into the bottom left, expand this, operator presets, and I do like my canyon. And let's just zoom in like so, and now we've got our canyon here. What I'm going to do is just increase the subdivisions from 200 to 500 on both the X and the Y. And that's beautiful. We've got enough geometry there. So I'm just going to quickly add in some materials. So I'm going to use the extreme PBR combo. Now, if you want to use this, there's a link in the description below on how to get it. And now let's pick up two materials. I want, I like this one just with a little bit of grass uh, popping through. So I'm going to map kit. Let's add in these three. Let's add a new material there. And now let's pick a secondary material, kind of rocky. What looks cliff facey? Uh, let's go to rock. So maybe this one looks kind of cliff facey. Um, let's add that as a material. And now I'm going to come over into the materials tab. Let's create a new material and we'll just call this terrain. And let's jump over into our shader editor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything from here. Let's grab everything from the ground. So let's go B, copy, paste. And I'm just going to bring that one up just to make life a little bit easier. Let's go to rock. I'm going to grab all of this information, come over to terrain, push that one up here. And so now we've kind of, these are our end to results from each frame. So if I bring this one here, let's just go into render view. Um, it will look like rubbish. And that's because this hasn't been UV unwrapped. So what I'm going to do is press numpad seven. Let's just create a new window quickly. Let's go into UV editor and go tab into edit mode. Every face takes up the whole UV, which is not what we want. So I'm going to do U and I'm going to project from view with bounds. And then let's select everything and times that, scale that by 10, maybe a little bit more. Let's go 50. It might be too much. So let's go into solid mode. Oops. Let's go into rendered mode, see what that looks like. It's fairly repetitive. Let's leave it at that and we might come back in and change that afterwards. So this is what the grass texture looks like. And if we go into here, nothing happens because that's not our primary. So let's go into terrain. Let's go into edit mode on our mesh. Everything is selected assign. And this is what our rock texture looks like. Oh, it's very repetitive as well. So maybe let's go into edit mode. Let's select everything over here, scale. 0.5 and that should bring it in and it shouldn't be as repetitive. There we go. That's a little bit better. So now what we need to do is we need to mix these two nodes. Oops, like so. And we get this yuckness, but now we do the funky stuff. Let's go shift A, geometry. From here, I want to grab the normal information. So what I'm going to do is separate x y z via the normal from here i'm going to put in a color ramp right in here let's grab let's grab the z value and put it into the factor and the color goes into the mix shader factor and so already you can see that the flat areas are grass and the stone area or the cliff areas are stone so what else can we do if we bring this in. We can see that it defines it a bit more. And there we have it. I mean, it's very simple. I haven't done much to it, but that's how we can separate cliffs from flatland very quickly. And now we can go in and start adding more details such as rocks and so on and so forth. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out, keeps you up to date with any content. Let me know in the comments below what you want to know about more. I'm producing four videos a week on Unreal Engine, Blender, Blender add-ons. So yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching.